that's the hardest question of this conversation probably um, because it's it's not necessarily about how I'm feeling but I think that that's really at the heart of um, of this whole uh, interesting mess I mean yes there's this virus that we have to deal with it but I think that what's really setting everyone on edge is the various um, versions of what's going on, um, what's going on now, what's going to be happening in the immediate future, where we've been. So that sort of lack of uh, correct information or, or not even correct, but just multiple versions of information. I mean, even just this week, you know, and I was preparing for this question because I know you asked everybody this, but um, you know, even this week, I, I was really feeling good. <laughs> you know, California, Los Angeles in particular, has been really on the forefront of uh, doing what they need to do to, to open back up and to keep everyone safe. And yet, what, yesterday, I, you know, California said we're locked down for another two months. I mean, it's just like, you know, you move ahead and then you pull back. And, and you know, I, that said, however, I'm reading more again today. And, and it's kind of like, yeah, we're shut down, but we're also opening up. So it's, you know, it's this, this confusion, this multiple versions of what's happening is really making people anxious. And quite frankly, that translates to our conversation today because, um, you know, I think at, at the top of everyone's list when they complain about their boss or complain about their organization or complain about their colleagues, it's uh, about communication, communication yeah. style, information, transparency, uh, you know, I, and I, th I think uh, if, if, if two months ago, LA, California, the US would have said, you know what, we're going to be locked down for six months, then, then people can say, okay, six months, I'm going to lock that into my brain, I'm going to set my expectations, but to say it's going to be a few weeks, and then, oh, it's a couple of months, oh, now it's a more, another couple of months, oh, we may not, you know, have anything back, especially in the arts in LA until next year, I mean, that's what makes people crazy <laughs> and, and, and really feeling depressed and anxious. And uh, so I think, you know, I, I don't think I'm any different than anybody else. I think, you know, you kind of go ups and downs and ins and outs. And um, what I've been doing positively is trying to uh, prepare for when the world does open back up again, both personally and professionally. Um, you know, not just sitting around kind of forcing myself to get that to-do list done that I say I never have time for because I'm so busy. Well, now I've got that, <laughs> I've got the time, so no excuse. Uh, so that's the personal, you know, uh, work around the house and, and, and reading and, and, and sort of educating myself. Uh, but then also professionally and just making sure things get lined up so that when the world does open, um, you're not starting from scratch, so. 